So a thing happened. Woo. The pumpkin farm now has a roof made of emeralds. And it's a beacon base. Because why not? Also another thing. There are now walls for the second floor because I needed something to do while gathering all those emeralds. So we have walls here. We've moved around the soul sand a bit. Probably gonna put some trapdoors around those. We have some more skylight. Makes a nice little place for the dragon egg here. Still need to light it properly. A little smelter over here. And have also moved the map and expanded it. Woo. The iron farm's a little off center. Gonna need to fix that. But speaking of which, do do do. If we head on down here, do do do. Over to our little bubble elevator to the iron farm. Still, do do do. Still got all the water in here. But the iron farm is doing quite well. There was a lot more in here earlier, but I took some to trade to villagers to get some of those emeralds back there. But I should probably think about starting on that proper storage system so then we can have an overflow. Is this is how much iron I've got just at the beginning of this episode and definitely gonna have overflow in a few weeks so we should get on top of that we now have a storage system Woo. back here we have your standard sorting system one is quite impulse originally. Woo. I'll put a link to that in the description. But I've added a little composter in here. So we get one chest full of poppies. And then when that fills up, they start going in there. And those go in the composter. And then we get bone meal. And the rest are for iron. And this is all the iron we've got right now. Well, got some up there. But this is what the farm's got at the moment. And over here we have the overflow. Overflow goes in this barrel. And this lever here will eject things. I don't remember what was in there. I hope that wasn't important. That's the point of a lever. So that when there's something in the barrel, it doesn't just automatically go through. So I can check what's in there and then eject it. But when the stuff actually starts to overflow and that fills up, I can just leave it on. But while I'm doing some building, some stuff might go in there that I want to keep. Like there were some hoppers in there right after I made it. So I got those hoppers back. And there's a the lava. Yeah. And it's got it's got a block of glass on top too. Because there's water above it. 
and I don't want to accidentally bust through the ground and turn my lava into obsidian or fall through into lava. That wouldn't be great either. I've also reduced the collection to just these hoppers here with a water stream pushing all the drops across. And the iron golems still burn. Even with the water there. Because they're still in the lava at the top. A little buffer chest before it goes into those hoppers. Just cause. It's probably not necessary. But it's there. Uh, just in case things go too fast. This room's gonna need some decoration at some point, but that doesn't need to be today. Ooh. Found brown sheep. So now we won't need cocoa beans to dye brown wool. We're right back over here to go with the rest of the sheepies. So I spent some time in a nether, hunting for wither skeleton skulls. That wasn't ideal. It didn't go well. If I head up far enough out this way, and go back. So, you go. This is supposed to be, um, head out of spawn range, east spawn range, then go back again. But you know, no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I survived. I'm back here. We have 24 more. We have 24 more blaze rods. So we don't have a beacon to put on this beacon base. But we do have woo. A roof. Sort of. Got this little half roof thing going on. Which I guess is a little bit of extra reusable space. As well as a little rooftop garden. garden. I'm going to need to pick a spot for a trapdoor to get up here. Other than that, the structure of the base is pretty much done. Yay! Thanks for stopping by everyone, see you next time, maybe we'll have some wither skeleton skulls then, maybe. <laughs>